The Roman city of Pompeii, first century AD. An affluent, vibrant and progressive hub near Naples, with Mount Vesuvius towering over the city. Inactive for centuries, the people of Pompeii had no fear of the great volcano. But deep inside Vesuvius, molten rock had been leaking from the Earth's crust. A thick plug of rock in the volcano blocked its exit, and explosive pressure slowly grew inside. On the morning of August 24, 79 AD, Pompeii was about to meet its fate. The volcano finally erupted, sending molten rock 15 kilometers into the sky. The day turned black as the hot rock mixed with the air over Pompeii, blocking the sun, cooling and falling on the city as pumice rock, ash and rain. Four billion tons of material would fall on Pompeii within 24 hours. Ash and magma collided in the air, triggering volcanic lightning. As the eruption continued, the magma chamber eventually emptied and collapsed. The first pyroclastic surge towards Pompeii begins. These are ground-hugging avalanches of hot ash, pumice, and volcanic gas that rush towards Pompeii at 100 kilometers per hour. The first surge falls just short of the city, but asphyxiation from toxic gas and ash killed many. 16 hours after the first eruption, the volcano column completely gave way. Pyroclastic waves smashed through houses, leaving victims instantaneously encased in blankets of ash and pumice. The city and its people were frozen in time. Mount Vesuvius buried Pompeii in 25 meters of volcanic rock and ash. Pompeii was rediscovered by accident over 1,500 years later in 1594. The buildings and its people having been encased in ash and preserved in time. 